Nah, man. Rockstar for life. Nah, man. It's all about rock. I, I can't do Rockstar. Red Bull has the perfect <laughs> amount of super I'm joking. Rockstar is like, any drinks are already bad for you, but like, Rockstar is at the bottom of that list. But anyway, I'm sure someone's gonna say it, but we got Bayonetta and her son duking it out <laughs> in the Losers Finals. That's my first time seeing this match played at like a high level in a tournament. So I, I want to see how this goes. I definitely think Joker punches Bale very hard when she gets lag. Just either, especially with Arsene, just because of how good his combos are. Yeah. He, he also just has really good neutral too. And he, he play at the range where if the Bale does ADK or heal slide, he can actually punch it heavily. heavily. Yeah, it's kind of a battle between the old and busted and the new hotness, <laughs> you know? So it's kind of oh. interesting to see how far these two characters have come between, like, Joker being the best character in Ultimate and then, of course, Bayonetta being the best character in Smash 4. All Frog able to not catch that recovery here on Mercury and Mercury able to still demonstrate, you know what, I might have been waiting in the bench, but I still got this hot hand with the Frog. With that a really, really beautiful counter to actually take care of things with the forward tonight. Great play, and the heel slide to the forward end. Good stuff here, and then once again, the afterburner kick. Frog is not letting this man go, but you have to be careful here. Mercury's definitely got the arson meter pretty much already going to be unlocked right about, I want to say, now. Mm -hmm. Something, though, about Bayo, I mean, it's risky, but at least if Bayo gets a good combo on Joker while he... Um, he has our saying she'll deplete the meter pretty well. Yeah. That's the nature of Joker continuously getting hit. Yeah, when you think about this matchup too in particular, like you said, right, the better you can deplete the meter, the better. I'm sorry, the faster you can deplete the meter, the better. And when you think about characters that can do that effectively, Bayonetta, when she gets those combos, definitely a good demonstration. Another one is, when I think about it too, it's going to be Shulk and what it is basically Buster Art, really good to get rid of meter. Okay, from the heel slide, I respect the frog, doesn't see anything there. Let's just come back to the stage. Up there. Nice. Good on Mercury to kind of just continuously use this move and to kind of move around Frog. He knows Frog is thirsty for this kill. So the more he's able to just kind of stall himself out, the more he can see Frog kind of overextend himself and then get that punish, like so. Right? First, to first to touch on the stage is the first to get the punish here, and with that back air, he demonstrates it. Yep. Back air? Oh, close. Not gonna be oh. not enough here after the up tilt. <sighs> yeah, Dogger doesn't seem to be in the range for that to work. I like that from Frog. He knows, you know what, at this bumper TV, Mercury will probably not go for a jump or be susceptible to a back air after my hill slide or in, or in this case a witch twist. So I can just go for a dash back and see if they can punish the directional air dodge or anything like that. Yeah, I, I like that uh, Mercury likes to mix up his approach option. Like, he'll like get, get you comfortable with the AI and the gun use and then while you're stuck there, he just gets right in your face with a grab or a quick dash attack. Like, I, I actually think he mixes up aggression and defense very well. And it's kind of why he's doing so good in this tournament right now. The witch time punish, he's so patient. I love the empty hops there to see if he can bait out an option. And immediately gets the drag down up smash. That was really good for me. Yeah. Mercury yeah. demonstrates pretty much the power of Joker. I think that's one thing Joker is, does really well in this matchup. It's just having that movement that he has is really strong against Bayo. Because when you think about Bayo in Smash 4, there's a lot of characters who couldn't just match her movement, but also match her prowess. And Joker is definitely one of those characters that kind of supersedes that even more. Three, two, one, go! Back on Pokemon Stadium 2 for Frog's counter pick. It's it's difficult, but I would love to see uh, Frog try to get some more like early kills from Edge Guards, or, or at least Edge Guards in general versus Joker. Because Bayo just has the uh, luxury of being able to chase Joker really far off stage. No matter what recovery he has, the, the tether or RC.
a little bit too early on in there. Yeah, the startup of uh, Joker's Arsena B has a little bit of invincibility frames. So if they time it right when you're about to attack them for doing it, they can uh, avoid your move. A lot of pressure with the back air, but after that second back air, pretty much Fox took the opportunity to get that grab and get him off of him. Now it's Mercury here on 134, and originally now what he had was the three stocks, now down to two. Frog with the first lead. Big for Frog here. Yeah, Mercury oh, no. likes. Oh. You know, that, was, oh. that was such a big aggression for Mercury. Just seeing, you know what, you can't. I'm not gonna let you plank here at the ledge. I'll just take care of you with a quick back air. Let's take a back air to even stocks. Up air, excellent play for the up tilt, the re grab on that one with a good combo extension. Okay, Mercury. Man, he's really good at using the AHA neutral. It's just like that added 12% when you're like trying to figure out how to approach the Joker from far away. There's like, nah, you have to deal with his move while you're waiting to figure out how to approach. He's gonna take us 12% every time. One of the best projectiles in the game, in my opinion. Agreed. Even without the boosted Arsene one, it's really good. Yeah. It's just the fact that it does a little damage over time, it's really strong. And it also gives Joker a little bit of that stall movement that he can get with it. It's crazy. Oh no. Deep, yeah, was good. Deep. Uh, that was tough too, yeah, because Frog had existed, exhausted pretty much all of his options there for going for that kill. It was good because it resets things on the board, but yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. Back throw, Mercury with stage control here, looking for the landing. Okay, Frog doing a really good job fighting on the stock. Man, catching Joker's landing with Hillside is very difficult. Double witch switch off the from the board here? Yeah, able to come oh, back. Oh, the double jump too. Oh, watch out. Nice. nice, he saved his jump, he saved his jump. Yeah, that was, good. that was a really good recovery. I thought he was going to get countered or down air. Like, almost anything Joker could do. Nope, no drag down up air, but he still has the arson. Frog's in a rough spot. Ooh, there's the punish I was looking for. You can, you can reliably up smash uh, Bale's ABK, especially if it's spaced poorly. Yeah, and, dude. And being able to do that with the added range of uh, Arsene of Smash, very, very good. He did a such a good job, too, specifically for Mercury, because he pressured Frog with the up air, and he forced Frog to go for a jump out of shield, and he called that out with another up air, and he just pressured Frog so hard that, like you said, right, he was Frog had so much pressure that he tried to find a way back on the stage, and he caught the afterburner kick, which you can do so well with Joker on the up smash. <laughs> Always remember, Bayo commits to the afterburner kick whether she's coming on the stage or coming off the stage, no matter what. If she goes for the quarter circle version, that's a lot of commitment from her in terms of end lag and starting frames. And if she goes for the regular version, it's a lot of commitment either way. So you can definitely punish that if you know how to whiff it really, really well against Bayo. Spacing and speed, and I think that's why I talked about how Joker is just so good at that. Yep. His, uh, his speed just really pulls the rest of his tools together and makes him so strong on top of, you know, the arson mechanic as well. He also has that, like, that frame that's like really skinny and kind of difficult to get uh, combos on to. His running animation is almost a low profile. That's yeah, crazy. Running, yeah, his dash goes really well. Like he just did it right there. He like dashed under the near and he like missed completely. Leave it, leave it. Big, big shouts to Namco Bandai for like really, really taking advantage of how to design some of the fighting things in this game because they even do this in games like Tekken and Soul Calibur, where just the, even the tiniest little bit of your hurtbox being in the move will definitely change the battle, the pace of the game. All right, well, Mercury here. Speaking of, speaking of Bandai Namco, this is the last MSN before the new patch. Oh, beautiful. oh yeah, yeah. What a call out! What a call out! Yeah, Once he's again. so smart about that. Yeah, I actually understand. really love how Merc I, I really love how Mercury knows how to pressure people into wanting to jump when he has our sin because he's like most times he's ready for the up smash. Yeah. We saw it in his match against Chazo as well. And when very, you look very at it, good. 
when you look at it as a whole too, you want to get away from Arsene. You see, you see that from Frog. He oh. wanted to, he wanted to witch twist to get away from Arsene. He wanted to jump oh. to get away from Arsene. And then Mercury just understands that, and he punishes his opponents for those mistakes. Because that's your first thought process. Is let me get away from Joker. Let me get away from this pressure. Let me get away from Arsene. There's a lot of things I'm taking. And then with Bale, it's, like I said, it's a lot of coming for a lot from a lot of her specials. After Burner Kick, it's a lot of commitment there in which it got punished from Aha. So uh, we're gonna talk about how uh, Mercury just homie stocked him there. <laughs> That's Frog <progress>, SD. <laughs> <laughs> gave him the gave him the homie stock and he's like, nah, I'm gonna earn this win. Guaranteed the right here. Respect on that one, man. Arson, gonna definitely make things scary for for Frog right now. Can't really make any mistakes, <sighs> but. Nice, nice. Pressure Speaking the shield and down tilt, catch the dash in. That's actually really good because he got rid of Arsene there and got the stock. So the uh, opportunity for a comeback is definitely here now for Frog. Oh, nice. Looking nice. Like combo extension, oh. operate it back air. Okay, scary moment again. The crazy thing about these two characters being top tiers is that Bayonetta's Spirit is the Madama Butterfly. Oh my god, the dash attack. I'm sorry. Ooh. That big Arsene dash attack. Dash attack is just so good with Joker in general. It covers so much range. And like the fact that it has that, that base boosted Arsene dash attack <laughs> on top of it. <laughs> base boosted it is just indeed. Very, very, very rewarding for Joker. Especially punishing landings from Bayo.